Hi. All right, we are going to tackle this question on uh, composite shapes. So our question is the side of a square piece of cloth is two meters long. How much cloth will remain after a parallelogram of base length 1.75 meters and height 1.2 meters has been cut from the cloth? All right, we're gonna break this one down. So I like to draw pictures. So I know I have a square piece of cloth. So I'm gonna put in a square here. And I know that the side of it is two meters long. And I know that a square has equivalent sides. So all of the sides are two meters long. Okay, I could sit and label all of them. I'm just gonna label the base and the height. Um, so for any square or rectangle, we know that the area for a square is basically going to be the side length squared, or it follows that formula of base times height, just like a rectangle would. But our square happens to be where the base and the height are the same. So we're going to do two times two, or two squared. And then that would give us four. And then we should always put our units in, so it would be four, square meters or meters squared. So you could write it like that or write out square meters. Okay, so this is for our square. There we go. Then we know we have a parallelogram. Um, so what we're going to do for the parallelogram, let's see if I can draw maybe a little bit straighter line. Um, a parallelogram is like a slanted rectangle in a way. So I know that the parallelogram has a base, base length of 1.75 and its height is 1.2. So essentially it would look something like, I know, you know, the height is going to be a little bit higher than half. So something like this. So it'd look somewhat like this shape. I'm gonna see if I can color it a little bit differently here. So let's say I'm gonna cut this out. Um, and I know that the base length is 1.75. So essentially from here to here is 1.75 meters. Oops, there we go. And my height, which would be perpendicular to the base, so not the slanted piece, but just the straight up and down height is 1.2 meters. And the same formula actually follows through for the parallelogram. I'm just going to abbreviate para. So I want to also calculate the base times height. Which would be 1.75 for my base. Times 1.2 for my height. And then you're going to type that into your calculator. So 1.75 times 1.2 gets us 2.1. And again, this would be square meters. And so basically here, all we have left to do is to subtract those two values because we're trying to figure out how much is left after we would take out that piece. So from there, we would do subtraction of the square, which is four minus the parallelogram, which is 2.1. And so you would have 1.9 square meters remaining. Maybe emphasize my decimal a little bit better there. Okay, so that is how you would finish that problem. Thanks for watching.